Welcome back guys, Red Dead Redemption Part 1 is now available on PC platform, released just yesterday. The original game was released way back in 2010 on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 platforms. I actually played the original version on my PlayStation 3 way back in 2011. On PC platform, we have received a remaster. It's not a remake. Game size is around 10 GB only. The PC bundle includes Undead Nightmare Story DLC as well. It's basically a standalone game. Story-wise, this game is actually a sequel to Red Dead Redemption Part 2. In the base game, we play as John Marston, former outlaw, who sets out on a journey to capture three of his former gang members. Marston does the government's bidding for the sake of his family's safety. The game is set during the decline of the American frontier in the year 1911. Just wanted to highlight the game's pricing in India. Rockstar Games has not followed Valve's recommended regional pricing. In US, this game costs around $50. In India, Rockstar Games has priced the game at around Rs. 3800. If they had followed Valve's recommended regional pricing, the game would have been priced at around Rs. 2000 in India. That's roughly around $25. US But the current price is around $45. US To be honest, I don't know why this game is priced at $50. US It's not a remake, just a remaster. The original game is almost 14 years old now. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has an RTX 2070 Super GPU and a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor. Now this game supports DLSS 3.7 and FSR3 upscalers. It even supports DLSS frame generation but it does not support FSR frame generation. So I'll be using Nukem 9's free DLSS G2 FSR3 mod to enable FSR frame generation on my PC. This mod works only on RTX GPUs. The game's FPS is capped at 144, but using FSR frame generation mod, theoretically, you should be able to achieve higher than 200 FPS. Download the mod from Nexus Mods link. I'll give the link in the description. We'll be using build 0.100 of Nukem 9's mod. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. And just click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download. This is the zip file that I just downloaded. Right click. Open with, click on Windows Explorer, copy this folder dll underscore dbgl, go back and paste the folder here, open the folder, just copy these two dll files, need to paste them in the games install directory, I on the steam version of the game, select it in your steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files, Paste the mod files here. There's the game's exe file. That's it. The mod has been installed. The process is that simple. Now make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled. Right click anywhere in the desktop area, then click on display settings. Click on graphics. Click on change default graphics settings. Make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled from here. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, that is VRR, enable the setting from here. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings. Click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select red day dumption. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. Click on apply. My monitor supports pre-sync premium, G-Sync compatible. Just click on setup G-Sync here. Enable these settings, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode, enable settings for the selected display model, that's it. I'll be using Afterburner overlay RTSS to show you the performance metrics, it's compatible with the mod. Rockstar launcher account is required to run the Steam version of the game. Graphics settings, display mode set to full screen, full HD resolution. My monitor supports up to 240Hz refresh rate. Frame rate cap 144, no unlimited option. Vsync disable, max out the quality, ultra, reflex enabled, anti-aliasing, DLSS, I have an RTX GPU, frame generation disable for the time being, you can see this option is unlocked, here it's mentioned, frame generation is exclusive to RTX 40 series GPUs, this means a mod is working, I'm not using quality or any other preset of the upscaler, I am using DLA anti-lazing. Motion blur disable. Sliders maxed out. 
and that's it. We are in this John Marston Armadillo station. What's going on here? FPS is close to 100, but we are not hitting the GPU bottlenecks. So CPU side performance seems to be the limiting factor. Not getting 144 FPS. This is the game running without frame generation. VRAM usage is around 2.5 GPU only. This game should have been running at 144 FPS with these settings on this hardware. What's going on with the horse? Its feet were vibrating. Stopped vibrating now. Okay, I'll just enable frame generation. Graphics settings. Just make sure NVIDIA Reflex setting is enabled before enabling frame generation. On. Resume the game. Yeah, now we are getting around 200 FPS. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Frame generation is working perfectly. Look at that frame pacing graph. A flat line. Hitching is not a problem. FPS is capped at 225. This means NVIDIA Reflex is working. Games hard elements are not flickering as this game supports DLSS frame generation. FSR 3 has a hardless image to work with. Subtitles are not flickering, just need to accompany this guy. Open world areas in this game are mostly barren. They are not as demanding as the town areas like this one. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. If you say so. Easy on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. I've tested this game even on RPCSC PlayStation 3 M later. This particular sequence is very demanding on the hardware. Just amazing to see this sequence running at over 200 FPS. I'm just waiting for the train to pass. Need to go to Fort Mercer. Match this guy's speed. Press and hold the shift key. Look at that scenery. Oh my god. After leaving the town, FPS increased to around 210, 220. After enabling frame generation, GPU usage got maxed out. This is good. GPU resources are getting utilized properly. FPS almost got doubled. I'm not sure why FSR frame generation support was omitted from the game. I mean, it does support DLSS frame generation. And even FSR 3 upscaler support is there. Okay, so now I'll be showing you some combat. Start Undead Nightmare. Reached Blackwell. It's the night time. <laughs> we are in a graveyard. Just need to burn some bodies here. It's raining. You don't need to complete the base game in order to play Undead Nightmare. Even in Undead Nightmare, we play as John Marston, who is looking for a cure for an infectious zombie plague after his own family members turn into zombies. Undead. <laughs> My horse just ran away. Thunder and lighting. Get the lighting effect. Not observing any artifacts around Master and character model you can see. Unlocked an achievement there, so mod does not disable any achievements. Steam version of the game supports around 51 achievements if I am not wrong. I'll just use my gun. So Nukem 9's mod worked perfectly in this game, didn't produce any graphical artifacts. Helmton increasing the performance by almost 100%. That's it for the video guys, I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.